Hello everyone, welcome back to Shubhul Bio and Chemistry. Today we will talk about a very basic cell biology related concept that is what is difference between cell strain and cell line. So these terminologies are very much related to cell biology and say biotechnological aspects. So these are very common terminology that we encounter when we study the cell biology concept regarding when we specifically study the how cancer progress, what, how cell culture is present, how we can perform cell culture in our laboratory. So these two terminology are very much uh, overlapping with each other, but there is a specific difference between them. So we want to talk about today, what is the difference and we want to talk or we going to understand the particular difference with the analogy of both of the terms. Okay, so let's get into the topic first. As, if, as I have said in the earlier slide that these are terminology related to cell culture. So in brief, I am going to talk about what is cell culture and what is the primary cell culture. So cell culture is a process of growing and maintaining cells outside the natural environment, typically in the laboratory setting or specifically saying in in vitro, in vitro uh, system. Okay. So Cell culture allows researchers to study and manipulate cells for various purposes such as understanding the very biological minute processes and developing different type of drugs and allowing how the drug works on a particular biological system. And for the purpose, cells can be derived from tissues or organisms and cultured in controlled conditions with very suitable nutrient medium providing an, a suitable environment to support growth and proliferation. Okay. So now coming to next part, the primary cell culture. So what is primary cell culture? It involves the isolation and cultivation of cells directly from the living tissue. These cells can be taken directly from an organism or have not been sub subcultured or altered in the laboratory or in vitro setting. Okay. So for the primary cell culture, Primary cells retain very much of the characteristics of the tissues and thus we can understand by studying them that how they are involved in a particular system or in a particular tissue system and how what are the roles they are playing in the particular tissue. Okay. And by, by uh, performing very short term experiments, they have their limited uh, lifespan in the culture compared to the altered or synthesized type of cells, they can be cultured in a very specific time frame. Okay, after that time frame, the primary cell culture will get obsoleted. Okay, so now coming to the main topic that is cell strain and what is cell line. Okay, we are going to talk first what is the definition and now after the understanding the definition, we will so get into the particular topic with a specific analogy of individual term. So a cell strain refers to a population of cells that is derived from a single cell or a small number of small population of cells and specifically to mention that all the cells are genetically uniform. While comparing with the similar to cell line, the term strain is often used when the cells have undergone limited or no alteration compared to the original state. That means what uh, if we take tissues from the particular derived organism derived and cultured in the laboratory condition, there should not be any kind of alteration that is can be genetic, that can be nutrient or any other things or any other parameters. So cell strain retain their originality and shows what are the particular biological properties that place or that it has in a particular biological system. Okay, now getting to the analogy. So imagine a family tree where each number of uh, each member inherits specific traits from their parents. Okay, so from this analogy, a cell strain would be like a particular branch of the family tree that remains relatively unchanged over generations. Okay, and uh, by preserving the specific characters of their uh, parents, the number of this branch share common features. 
much like a cell strain maintains a genetic uniformity derived from a single or a few cells. And it, as this branch represent a stable distinct subset within a larger family, just as a cell strain represents a stable population of cells within a laboratory settings. Okay, so this is the cell strain. Now coming to the next part, what is a cell line? A cell line is a population of cells that are descendant from a single cell. But after the culture, after putting into the in vitro system, there are some artificial modification that uh, allows them to sustain more uh, life more long in terms of their lifespan. Uh, than the cell strain or the primary cell culture. Okay, unlike the primary cell, cell lines are often immortalized, meaning they can divide and proliferate indefinitely under the laboratory condition. So uh, we will understand what is the immortality means. Now uh, in another topic, we will discuss the what is heflic limit. Heflic limit. Uh, in brief, I am going to talk what is heflic limit here. That is, each and every cell has their own lifespan and this is high particularly maintained by the chromosomal length, chromosomal telomere length, okay. During the subsequent division, cell divisions, the short, the shortening of the telomere causes or leads to the cell senescence. This is the heflic limit which where up to which the cell will retain their lifespan. After that, the cell will Go on, uh, undergo or, uh, or apoptosis by themselves okay but in the cell line due to their long term culturing process we uh, scientists or scientists have developed such uh, type of experiment or such type of system that can uh, allow the telomere not to be shortened or the telomere length of a particular cell line cell will remain intact for the long time, long time period, so that after undergoing uh, subsequent cell division, they can maintain their cell uh, telomere length, so that their lifespan will be longer than the cell strain. Okay. Now this uh, particular topic, we want to give, uh, we want to understand by a particular type of analogy, specific analogy. Think of a cell line as a long-running TV show with many seasons. Okay. So we love to watch tel uh, television or movie seasons or nowadays there are some web series so they have the many seasons or a particular type or specific web show okay the first episode introduces the original characters and storylines like the initial cells from an organism as the show progresses new episodes are produced but the core elements and characters generally remain consistent, allowing for a continuing uh, storyline. Similarly, a cell line is derived from the original set of cells and through repeated culturing, it continues to replicate and provides a stable population for ongoing experiments, such like the enduring the plot line of a TV series or web series. Okay. So this is the analogy, the cell line is an immortalized type of synthesized cell or altered cell that we can use or any scientist or any in under in, in vitro condition or laboratory condition, we can maintain them and study them various type of experiments on them and uh, we can understand how the biological processes works. Okay, so this is the concept for today. So if you find the video helpful for you a little bit please like share and please subscribe to our channel and follow our instagram page for small biological reels okay so for today thank you